The man accused of killing 10 people at a King Supers in Boulder two and a half years ago experienced hallucinations on the day of the attack. It's according to testimony from a forensic psychologist today. It is the first major court appearance for the suspect, while families of the victims have waited years for this trial. A judge must decide if the suspect who has schizophrenia is ready to go to trial. Nine News reporter Kelly Brinke was inside the courtroom. Kelly, we learned more about what the suspect planned that day at the grocery store. Yeah, Alex, that psychologist testified that Amad Alyssa had intended to commit suicide by cop in March of 2021 on the day of that incident. Now, two years later, the man who has schizophrenia was bouncing in his chair, rocking back and forth as the families of those 10 victims were sitting behind him. Many of them were listening very closely. Some of them were even taking notes. This hearing is crucial in this case because a judge will have to decide if the case uh, should go to trial. The suspect had been deemed incompetent for nearly two years. He had been receiving treatment at a mental health hospital. Then an evaluation last month found he had been restored to competency. That forensic psychologist who performed those competency evaluations told the court today his communication has improved and his thinking was more reasonable after he was forced to take medication starting this past March. She testified he seemed more willing to talk about the case during an evaluation in August. It's a big reason she determined he had been restored to competency. He even shared with her that a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity was his preferred, quote, legal strategy. Another member of his treatment team testified today that he appears more social. He was attending cornhole matches and karaoke sessions at the hospital. Ultimately, today is really an ability to see if there are any deficiencies in that evaluation that took place in August. Uh, the DA's office, though, doesn't know if the judge will make a decision tomorrow when this restoration hearing is expected to wrap up or take a few days to think about it. I know to hear these updates on his disposition and how he's acting has to um, bring some sort of comfort for a lot of the victims families we've talked to who want to see a trial in this case. Yeah, typically uh, these restorations uh, usually take about 90 days. We're talking almost two years of delays for these families. So any sort of progress is going to be relief for these families. All right, Kelly, thank you.